The weirdest thing I learned this week is a fascinating dive into the bizarre and lesser-known corners of scientific knowledge presented by Popular Science. The book provides a rich collection of peculiar facts, anecdotes, and stories that challenge our understanding of the ordinary and reveal just how extraordinary the world around us truly is. One of the central themes of the book is the exploration of strange but true phenomena that often go unnoticed or are taken for granted. The authors provide insight into the oddities of the human body, peculiar animal behaviors, and bizarre occurrences in nature. They also delve into the history of science, uncovering stories of eccentric inventors, unusual experiments, and groundbreaking discoveries that have shaped our understanding of the world. For instance, the book discusses the concept of medical cannibalism that was prevalent in Europe during the Renaissance and beyond. It paints a vivid picture of how the body parts of mummies were ground into powders to be ingested as medicine, showing how the line between science and superstition has evolved over time. The phenomenon of contagious behavior is another highlight, exploring how actions and emotions can spread through groups like a virus. The authors recount historical episodes of mass hysteria and examine psychological mechanisms that make us susceptible to such phenomena. Animal behavior is also a focal point, looking at creatures with unique adaptations and abilities. One example is the Greenland shark, which can live for hundreds of years and has a diet that occasionally includes polar bear or reindeer. Another is the story of a chicken that survived for 18 months without its head, leading to a discussion on decapitation and the survival mechanisms of different animals. On a molecular level, the book delves into the quirks of chemistry and material science. There are substances that can heal themselves or change their properties dramatically with a change in temperature, and the authors communicate the magic and potential of such materials in an engaging and accessible way. One of the more humorous aspects of the book is the examination of strange jobs throughout history. Readers learn about professions like knocker-uppers, who would wake people before the invention of reliable alarm clocks and the peculiar role of resurrectionists who supplied medical schools with cadavers. One of the historical figures the book looks at is Thomas Migley Jr., a chemist whose inventions had profound and unintended negative impacts on the environment, such as leaded gasoline and chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. The authors use stories like his to discuss the ethics of scientific discovery and the responsibility that comes with innovation. The book also delves into the often weird and unexpected side of space science. For instance, it recounts bizarre proposals for dealing with waste in space and discusses the effects of microgravity on the human body, including how astronauts must learn to handle their bodily fluids in zero-g environments. Another riveting topic is the world of fungi, which are capable of mind-controlling insects and decomposing massive structures. The authors present fungi as a kingdom of life that's both alien and integral to Earth's ecosystems, with potential applications that range from biodegradation to alternative materials. In the realm of technology, the weirdest thing I learned this week uncovers the oddities of past and present inventions. It covers stories of failed experiments, like a steam-powered flying machine from the 19th century, alongside breakthroughs that seemed weird at the time but proved revolutionary, such as the idea of transmitting voice over wires that led to the telephone. Health and wellness fads also come under scrutiny, with the authors exploring the genesis and outcomes of trends like drinking gold for health benefits, radium-infused waters, or snake oil treatments. They throw light on how pseudoscience can capitalize on the human desire for easy cures and the psychological effects that drive people towards such fads. The book often takes a humorous tone, but is grounded in solid research and a deep appreciation for the scientific method. It shows that even the most curious and seemingly ridiculous aspects of science can lead to profound insights. Through a collection of oddities, the authors piece together a view of science that is less about sterile laboratories and more about the adventurous pursuit of understanding. In conclusion, The Weirdest Thing I Learned This Week by Popular Science serves up a smorgasbord of eccentricities drawn from the vast universe of scientific inquiry. From bizarre historical anecdotes to cutting-edge discoveries, 
It showcases the countless wonders and oddities that our world has to offer. Whether it's through revelatory tales of weird science or discussions of extraordinary aspects of ordinary life, the book celebrates the curiosity and sense of wonder that drive humanity's quest for knowledge. With humor and erudition, it invites readers to marvel at the weirdness and complexity of the world, revealing how even the strangest trivia can be gateways to deeper understanding and appreciation of science. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.